is going to be the New Orleans Pelicans versus the Los Angeles Clippers. This has the word written all over it, competitive, okay? This is going to be by far the most competitive basketball game on Saturday, okay? The Clippers, they play today, they get a break on Friday, and then they go right back on it on Saturday. Now, what I have to say about New Orleans, because New Orleans plays, I think, either today or tomorrow, what's going to hurt them is they have to play twice in three days. And when you got to play two games in three days, that's tough, because... Whoever you play before that, you might win that matchup. But then you're going against the Clippers, okay? And this is, this ain't no regular basketball team. It's the Los Angeles Clippers. You've got Paul George. You've got Kawhi Leonard. You've got a strong backcourt, a starting five, a team that can play offense, defense. They can play four quarters. They can They can slow up the game. They can slow down the game. They can beat you at your own game. They can run in transition. Clippers can do all of that. And New Orleans Pelicans is a powerful offense. They got a backcourt. They have a superstar. But the problem is you don't have Anthony Davis no more. And and the problem is even if you could stop Kawhi Leonard, you you got to get into foul trouble just to stop Kawhi Leonard. And Doc Rivers is a genius because he's figured out how to make it impossible for you to guard his player. So even if you could shut down Kawhi Leonard, you're leaving Paul George open. You got Paul George open, Kawhi Leonard can get off. If they both get off, your team's in trouble. And I think New Orleans Pelicans can play with this team. I think they can run with this Clippers team. I don't think they're going to be able to be beat, but I do believe Clippers still might come out as the winner because Kawhi Leonard get off, Paul George get off, and the team get off. If Paul George scored 20 points and Kawhi Leonard scored 20, 30 points and then the team itself scored 20 points, they're winning the basketball game. There's just no bones to it. They're going to win. The New Orleans Pelicans might actually be able to keep the game tight in the first and the second quarter. The problem is the game's going to get away from the Pelicans in the third and in the fourth quarter. And if they try to send this game into overtime, assuming if any of these games go into overtime, which I, I, I probably say maybe the second week after the start of the season, um, restart of the season, you're going to see some games go into overtime. This one, don't feel like it has the implications to go overtime, but how many times I've predicted games go into overtime and only one or two go into overtime and the other three games never went into overtime. Some of these games will finish like how we expect them to finish. Four quarters, that's it. Overtime is if it's necessary. And Clippers won't have to go in overtime in this matchup. But I have a feeling Clippers will probably win this game just because they're favorite to win the championship. So don't be surprised if the score is 109 to 104. If it's a very high-scoring game, or if it's a low-scoring game, it could be 100 to 92. Why? Because it's gonna go the first two quarters. It's gonna go back and forth, and that's what's gonna elevate it to a high-scoring game, running in transition. And the Clippers' offense will make the New Orleans Pelicans play defense, but then make their offense collapse off of running in transition. So you can hit baskets, you can make layups, but Like I said, how do you stop Paul George and Kawhi Leonard at the same time? We all know Kawhi Leonard can play by himself, but the thing is, how do you stop both? 